Tonight, Six Investigates is looking into the persons responsible for keeping city governments transparent and accountable. Now, for any given city, that person is usually the city auditor. But here in Corpus Christi, we've learned that the woman currently serving in that role is coming up short. Six Investigates' Randall Cam is here to walk you through what's happening and ultimately what it means for tracking, properly tracking your tax dollars. So, Randall, if you would explain the role of a city auditor. Well, Lee, it's all about showing citizens, Corpus Christi city personnel, are behaving responsibly and using public funds wisely. That's the gist of the job, and that is exactly what interim city auditor Kimberly Houston has been doing. Only problem is she's not fully qualified to do it. The appointee is directed to become certified as a certified internal auditor within one year of the current date. But that was almost two years ago, and Corpus Christi Interim City Auditor Kimberly Houston hasn't finished testing to become a certified internal auditor, which means she can't be promoted, and most importantly, taxpayers don't have a qualified city auditor keeping track of government spending. My certification kind of took a back burner to getting all work done uh, because, you know, that was that was really, really important. So you were busy with the work of the city and didn't have time to prepare for the exam or take it? Correct. Uh, why is it taking so long? She had a year to complete this. It's been almost two. Okay. Uh, she, um, let me get this right. So, uh, the, the department has gone through some changes on there and we've had some new auditors and she has spent her time training that with between training the new auditors and doing the existing audit work she uh, said that she hasn't had time to complete the test. After we brought this issue to the city's attention an official extension was suddenly given. Thank you for the fine work that you're doing and, and uh, what is it? Uh, I look forward to you having the certification come June. You heard that right. Houston now has until June to get certified. That's more than a year past the original deadline. We want to see that uh, have the full certification that's required uh, for it to move from the interim position to the permanent position. With the official title comes a raise of $8,000 added to her $87,000 a year salary plus benefits. But Houston explains it's not about the money. Um, I care about what I do. I've become a member of the community and I really am invested in the success of the city. What happens if Kimberly Houston doesn't pass the test to become certified? Well, right now they're appears to be no contingency plan. We asked the audit committee chair if there were other candidates for the job of city auditor. He said no. Randall Camp, Six Investigates. Thank you very much, Randall.